What's up, nerds? It's Pat from the Nerds You're Looking For podcast, and I'm really, really excited about this particular video. I love fantasy football, and uh, one of my favorite days of the whole year is my draft for each of my leagues. It's, it's a lot of fun, especially the league that I'm a co-commissioner in, because we actually all meet up and draft in the same room, and it's, and it's a lot of fun. And Madden has a game mode ultimate team that's kind of like fantasy football it's kind of what they branded it as is kind of their version of fantasy football and i'm going to be doing my first ultimate team draft in this particular video so obviously i'm, I'm really excited for it uh, a little bit different than my normal videos it'll be a little bit shorter because i'm just going to do the draft and then i'll actually start getting into the challenges and stuff like that in future videos but also, I won't have my face cam, so you guys will miss my beautiful face other than this quick intro because the draft takes up most of the screen. Like You have the different players that you get to choose from each round, and I don't want you guys to not be able to see one of my choices because I have my face cam. So it's going to be a little bit different, a little bit shorter, but like I said, it should be a really fun uh, video, especially for those that like fantasy football and like kind of building a team because we're going to sit down and kind of talk uh, through each round why I chose this particular player versus another player and kind of talk through the way I like to build my teams. So without further ado, let's get to our Madden Ultimate Team Draft. All right, so let's get started. The first thing that you have to pick is your coach. I'm not crazy about any of these coaches to be honest with you. I guess I will go Andy Reid because he plays a similar system to the stuff that I like to do. So we'll go ahead with Andy Reid. So the first thing it's going to do is it going to give you a base team. So basically you can see at the very bottom that we have a certain amount of players just to kind of fill out our team. Uh, First of all, our first thing is quarterback, and we don't really have a whole lot of good choices here. We already have Matt Schaub as our quarterback, which obviously we don't want that uh, to be our starter. So I don't really like either one of these guys because I, I generally try to be a little bit more, more mobile, and I don't really like either one of these choices. Honestly, I think I'm probably going to go with well, he doesn't have the best stats either, but we're going to go with Phillip Rivers. I mean, he has no speed whatsoever, but he's better as far as throwing the ball as either one of those guys. Uh, speed, he's not that great either. Uh, and he's a middle linebacker. We do, I do like to play a 3-4, so the middle linebacker is good to have a fast middle linebacker. So we're going to go with uh, Curtsy. So far, we haven't gotten that good of choices. Okay, so fullback is nothing. I don't care about fullback, so we might as well just go ahead and discard that. I don't really like Jason Witten as a as a tight end. He's, I mean, he's a good guy. He's a good blocker and everything, but I need a, a passing tight end, and he's not that anymore. So we're going to go with uh, Jason Peters. All right, so here we go. These are a little bit better choices here. I really want to go with Amari Cooper here, but like I said, I do really like a good receiving tight end. So we're going to go ahead and go with Jordan Reed here. I do use my tight end quite a lot. All right, so we have the first wave of quarter cornerbacks. I almost said quarterbacks. Uh, Brent Grimes, no. Uh I do like Jason Verrett quite a lot. I think he's underrated, but we're going to go with the sophomore, Jalen Ramsey. I think J Jason Verrett might be a sophomore as well, but uh, yeah, I like Jalen Ramsey quite a lot. I think he's going to go, uh, he's going to surprise a lot of people this year. All right, so we are getting a lot of D linemen on this one. And I'm going to go with Muhammad Wilkerson because, like I said, I, I do run a 3-4. Even though I do like Chris Jones a lot, too. Joseph doesn't really play a 3-4. He plays a 4-3 in the Vikings defense. So uh, we're going to go with Muhammad Wilkerson. All right, here we go. I feel like I want to get... I want to get Eric Kendricks because I do need another fast... Uh, middle linebacker, but I have no 
D tackles that I, I really trust right here. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to go with Danny Shelton. That might come back to bite me. Well, I take that back because we got to get Shane Ray right here. So we do have a pass rusher right there. Uh, okay. I mean, we got to go with Zeke. I think he's kind of a D-bag with all the uh, off-the-field stuff. So it's hard for me to root for him. But he's really, really talented. I really like the way our team's getting built right now. Uh, being a Bears fan, I really don't want to go with Randall Cobb. But I do run a lot out of the slot. I do like running that, especially with the Andy Reid offense. So I'm going to go with him, who he's kind of he runs pretty much traditionally out of the slot. Uh, this is a tough choice. I don't really have a whole lot in the secondary right now. I mean, I do have Jalen Ramsey. Uh, do I have anybody to rush a passer right now? I have Shane Ray, but I'm not crazy about that. Uh, so it's really between these two guys for me right here. I mean, we still, I mean, it's only round 11. So we're going to go with Bruce Irvin. Ooh, nice. Do we want to go two cornerbacks? Or should we go Keenan Allen? I'm going to go with Xavier Rhodes. So we basically have two shutdown corners right there. And I lucked out. So now I it's between these two guys. I do have a slot receiver in Randall Cobb. So I'm going to go with my big kind of possession wide receiver here with DeAndre Hopkins. I feel like I'm building a really good team right here. All right, we don't have very good offensive linemen. We have been able to build up our defensive line pretty well. Like, I wouldn't be mad if this was our D line going into the... I would like to get one more D end, but we definitely need to get some offensive linemen here. All right, so I already got a good or tight end. I almost said wide receiver. And I think I'm going to go with uh, Stefan Diggs. He was crazy good on Monday night. So I'm going to go with Stefan Diggs. So I feel like uh, my wide receiver core is really good because I got my big possession guy in DeAndre Hopkins. I have my slot guy in Cobb. And then I have my speedster in Diggs. So I feel like I'm doing really well. We definitely need to build up our offensive line and I like De Castro more than Incognito. So we're gonna go with De Castro here. Alright, what are we looking with corners? We already have two really good corners. We're gonna go with Scandrick, because I think he's a better slot corner than Hayden. If you're just going by overall, obviously you would go with Hayden. But I think Scandrick is a lot better of a slot corner. And at this point, we're kind of drafting him as a slot corner. Wow. I got to go with McCordy because I already have two really good corners. Even though I do like Patrick Peterson. But I already have Xavier Rhodes, Jalen Ramsey, and then I just got Scantrick last round. All right. What are we looking at here? Oh, this is a tough choice. I mean, we run a 3-4, so we don't really need another D-tackle. And we already have... Let's see what we have. We have Peters at a left tackle, so we don't need him. Ugh. All right, we're going to go with the V-tray. I do need a really strong offensive line because I do run a lot. Ooh, this is tough. We already have Elliott, and we already have really good wide receivers. Yeah, we'll go with uh, Abraham. Uh, I don't know. This is a tough call. I feel like we're we're already good on all of these positions. I don't know. We'll go with Abraham. You can never have too many good pass rushers. All right, so 82 is not too bad overall. So let's look at our lineup here. Oh, I can actually change positions for these guys. That's good. I mean, I feel like our our offensive line, obviously right tackle is not great. 
But I feel like our offensive line is really, really good. We don't have much depth, but you're not going to have much depth. Oh, I, I didn't know I had uh, Kilgore. I may have not taken Mac. Definitely Max is obviously an upgrade, but I could have had a better tackle at the right tackle position. All right, so I feel like our offense is pretty good. Our defense is where I think we're going to struggle a little bit. Because we only have one middle linebacker. But we do have some really good out, outside rushers. We're going to be in trouble on the back end though. But it might not matter because we do have a lot of good corners. I wonder if I can change him to outside linebacker. I guess I can't? Alright. Who do we have as a... Kick returners. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm happy with that. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for Mutt Draft. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Maybe tell me where you think I went wrong in the comments below. I definitely appreciate uh, that. When you guys comment, let me <laughs> tell me how I, how I messed up in this or how you would have done it a little bit differently. As always, I put all of our links to everything else, including the podcast and nerds you're looking for, in the video description. For Patrick Kuhn, I am the nerd you're looking for. Take it easy, guys.